Hola Honda lovers! Today we have a Honda Civic EG6 in a crazy chrome finish. And for me this is a new brand, so it's called Street Weapon. Let's see how good Street Weapon uh, compares to other brands. And also I'm curious if this chrome is a decal or some sort of polished metal and painted. I do not know. We're gonna find out. This fifth generation Honda was produced between 1991 and up till 1995. This Civic is uh, larger than the predecessor it replaced, also more aerodynamic, and the wheelbase is increased in, in the various uh, body configurations. Uh, Wikipedia also tells me that a cowl was raised for more suspension travel, but hence the stock vehicle was a softer ride, less sporting I guess. Got a little outline here, and nothing on the back of that. No licensing that I can see here, it does say 164 scale down there though. Okay, so, and then what is that, street weapon in a really funky uh, font. Okay. Actually it has this plastic case, let's it taped together. It's not very loose, and it is not taped together. Still, I wouldn't recommend lifting it by the case because the bottle will probably just fall out and crash on the floor. So now we have this uh, photo etched piece of metal here for the nameplate, and uh, the etching is quite deep actually. Oh, I didn't realize this is supposedly limited edition to like a thousand pieces or so. I seem to have number 73 of 999. They very often actually have a zero in the series, so I think there might be a thousand of these. Uh, it's so shiny, so I apologize with the reflection, but let me focus again, because I don't know what Ghost Player is. Ooh, is that a tuning company? Uh, please leave a comment if you know what these guys are all about, or what that is. It's the brand, so anyway, it's very nice. Okay, then we have a textured you know, top here is physical, I'm guessing. Maybe it's a print. Is it a print? I have a feeling it's actually just molded as a texture, but it looks like carbon fiber. I, I rather like it. Boy, now, there's nothing sensitive on this that I can see. Whoa, well, actually, there's a photo of tow hook. I was debating taking it off the stand, but I absolutely know my fingerprints would just ruin the look, and hence the video. So I think I'll just leave it on the base for now, and at the very end I'll put a fingerprint on it, just to see how, <laughs> how easy it is to, to do. Let me get a different view in front of these photos here. Okay, try to get a better angle. So these are just stock photos here, whereas this model's tuned a little bit. Alright. One thing I do notice is the front chin spoiler of this is not stock. It has two little vents in it, and I don't see that on the photographs of this car or maybe these are export market civics or JDM civics that don't have such a chin spoiler I think the overall proportioning looks pretty good yeah this is going to be a tough comparison shot here Let's get a different angle here. Man, uh, this is, in my phone screen, I can, I'm having a really hard time looking at this model because the camera is just, it's having a hard time dealing with this chrome. It is so shiny. It, it's a mirror, it's crazy. Uh, let me just try to focus on this front wheel here. I'll zoom in, try to get the chrome out of the center of focus. All right, so we have some, you know, five spokes, and there's some tiny lug nut details in the center. Very tiny lug nut details. But you can see there's a silver brake rotor back there with a the blue caliper towards the front of the car, so that's pretty nice. The sidewalls are actually angled, it looks like. They're not, like, flat with the wheel. They're actually concave, I think. And then the tread blocks, you can see a tiny bit, but they don't look like truck tires, so I think these tires are, they're okay. They're on the better side of molded truck, uh, of molded 
uh, car tires. See that the camera is just shifting between black and white because it's so shiny. Alright, well, let's try to just go slowly. So there's a bump here. Um, I see, I'm looking at this photograph. Some cars ha don't have this bump here, which is a reflector. Some do. So again, import, export, not import. JDM, export, markets, they might have, may or may not have that reflector. This door handle, I can't really say it looks like the car door handle. Definitely doesn't. It's like the back of the door handle has an angle here, and you pull the thing forward. I'm guessing. You can rewind the video, of course, and check. Ask yourself if that door handle looks the same. I don't think it does. Uh, okay. So the window molding. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't. This is the probably the most difficult review ever. Just focusing. Uh, the window molding is, you know, painted black onto the plaque, onto the plastic piece there. So it's, uh, I guess it's all right. And then these mirrors, I'm guessing, are separate pieces. They're too fine, I think, to be molded into the metal. So I think they're separate plastic pieces. Uh, and they're glossy black. Is there a reflector? Yeah, there's a reflective sticker in there. So that's good. Well, while we're at it, because it's going to be hard to always get these interior shots, I think I actually found an interior view that's pretty nice. I'm maxed out at four times magnification right now. Boy, even moving my hand close to this car just ruins the, 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 shoot, the video here. Um, unfortunately, the distortion of the window is not helping me cause either. I also am having a hard time describing what's going on in there because there's so many reflections from the body onto the window. I think what's happening is the light is hitting the chrome body and that's reflecting off of my phone and that's reflecting back onto the window of this model. What I can't tell is if there's instrument gauges there. I don't, I don't see any there. But clearly there's molded knobs and dials there in the center console. I think this, I don't know if this steering wheel is an aftermarket steering wheel. I don't get the impression that there would be an airbag there. But I don't know if this year of Civic had airbags. But the red seats are coming up pretty nice. Uh, there's a texture to them. Uh, let's, oh boy, I tried to get past that reflection. So they're definitely not standard seats. These are racing seats of some sort. There's no additional printing or seat belts on them though. Just molded red. Uh, I do see a on the steering column you know you got the two protuberances stocks I guess the like the turn signal stock and the wiper blade stock so that's a pretty nice detail a lot of other brands may or may, may skip and now that we're uh, focusing on the outside you can see that this has metal wiper blades painted black and they're just glued on, I think. They're not bent 90 degrees perpendicular to the, to the window, but I, I think that's okay. This model was kind of a pricey, but not resin pricey. So it's not going to have all the details that you'd find from a resin. This is a die cast model. All right, uh, we've made it to the front. We have a really good separation with the headlights. You know, the clear lens of the headlight and this orange turn signal lens. Very, very sharp break there. So that's very good. I, I still don't know how they do that. If this is molded in two colors or somehow they're painting it. It's just so smooth, I don't get the impression there's paint there. And then behind the lens, you can see a little bump for a, a, like a light bulb there. I don't know if there's one on this side. There's some sort of refraction going on in there, some sort of inclusions. I, I don't know. It's hard to tell what's happening, but all right. Boy, I'm losing focus again. Seems like there's some sort of strakes here. It sounds like it's, well, I can't tell. To initial impressions sound like that's plastic. All right. Let me try this angle. Actually, let me back out a little more. Well, 
this good three-dimensional detail in those openings you know some sort of uh, grill pattern and then these two little ducts here there, there's no paint it's just a, a recess all right so this hood is chrome as well might be coming over as black because the thing's so shiny but the entire body oh, oh, oh no I'm mistaken this rear wing is carbon fiber we'll get to that this side of the car I guess has the fuel filler that's the difference that I can see all right, all right so yeah let's look at this wing try to focus on this guy all right so there's definitely a carbon graphic there I'm gonna assume that my, it must be a decal because it's wrapping around but is it wrapping around the bottom I can't tell it's just black there I think it's just black underneath that wing maybe it'll come up better on the your screen but my, my phone screen isn't very large all right so now we're at the back and I had to focus again for the millionth time nice taillights you know they're translucent red but I can clearly see that this is like the white backup light and actually I think there's a little orange here yeah this is definitely orange this is red I don't know about this side though it looks like this is almost all red or maybe it's just the way I'm holding it no I think it's better now I think this is clearly orange whereas this side is all red so again good separation of color and I lost focus again there's nothing on the rear license plate but it is physically there so some shape of a plate so that's nice but it does seem rather thick like it's and the you know real car would be recessed but this is actually flush with the, like the trunk all right so that tow hook is quite nice it's very thin I'm sure it, it must be a piece of photo etched metal because it literally has these holes going through it if you molded that out of plastic, I feel like they would break them very easily just trying to assemble this car. Alright, well the muffler as well looks very good. It's uh, painted silver. There's a little depth to the middle of the exhaust tip there. So, nice. One thing that I'm noticing is there's no badging on this vehicle anywhere. There was no Honda badge on the front. There's nothing back here saying this is a Honda or Civic. Granted it is a custom look with the lowered suspension and uh, I'm gonna assume these wheels are supposed to be like spoon wheels but don't know for sure. Uh, Alright hold on I'm gonna try to look from this side and I'm gonna get a flashlight and maybe the flashlight will help like overpower the camera's focus and try to ignore the outer body. still don't see any instruments in there. They could be there. It's just I'm having a hard time focusing my eyes on this thing. Uh, Alright, what about the rear of this interior? It's totally gutted, I think. Yeah, there's no rear seats, I don't, I don't think. And then there's just a smooth rear deck lid here. Like a tonneau, almost. All right, so I guess it looks like a, a stripped out race car, right? Um, the the e-brake looks pretty nice. It literally is, you know, suspended in the air. The shifter is okay. It doesn't really have the knob on the top, but again, this is not a resin model, so it's gonna have less detail and less price. All right, let's compare to some, oh, well, you know what? I forgot the, the fingerprint thing, <laughs> okay. So, let me focus on the roof of this thing. Yep. So, it's 
very easy. Don't be copying my fingerprint in, for illicit activities. Oh, a little polishing cloth to take that care of that. Just gonna go over. I'm gonna well, I'll spin it around on a coaster. What I'm looking for is some sort of defects, uh, and also like air pockets. You know, I'm. I don't. I'm gonna look at it with my own eyes. I can't. I can't see this car through my my screen. So I apologize if I lose focus here as I spin this around, trying to figure out if this is a decal or not. But I, I simply can't see it through my screen. It's just so crazy bright. I don't see any air pockets, like in in particular around this molding, uh, going around the side. That's the prime place where there would be an air pocket or in the door panel gaps right if there's a decal it would just cross over that gap and there would be an air pocket there but i don't see anything like that which leads me to believe this thing might be painted i i'm gonna guess that's the only way they could do that or is there some sort of can you hydrographics chrome finishes I don't know the answer to that either. Maybe it's hydrographics, where they dip it in a pool of water and the graphic is on the top of the water and they pull the object through it. So all I can probably really confirm is it's not a decal because there's no air pockets whatsoever in this chrome. And this is the shiniest thing in my collection, that's for sure. This is, it's a mirror. The entire thing is a mirror it's such a mirror that it look the car looks black all right look at this reflection of the pick or even better let me get a let me get a, a, a car model here's a Jägermeister Porsche for a different review look at the reflection of this thing it's it's crazy it's it's literally a mirror right sorry I can't I may have lost the focus there Really crazy. No, that's, that experiment's not going to work. All right, now let me uh, put this thing on the spin thing. All right, things probably going to lose focus 16 million times spinning around here. Um, I do have uh, the four door. I don't know if this is a sedan. I think it's considered a sedan. It's called this Honda Civic Ferio, which I think is Ferio is supposed to say it's a sedan. This one I think is by Inno 64. Yeah, the bot, the base does say that, so that's good. And obviously it's a race car. There were some problems, I th if I recall in my review, with that. Although I don't see what they, those problems are. I think there's a paint problem or something. Well, anyways, a lot of good details on this Inno as well. Tow hooks, yeah, the brake system, the full roll cage inside that interior. The interior of this is far greater than this. It actually has, you know, harnesses and more colors inside. So I'd say Inno 64 is better than this Street Weapon brand. Although, in this particular livery, maybe not. Because this is like a, almost a perfect chrome finish it's really quite interesting let me pull out a couple other brands of Honda's yeah, we have a Konami Civic E8H so my notes are telling me this is the third generation Civic here I don't seem to have a fourth generation Civic in my collection All right, this one's taking up too much space and then I have a Kyosho, and sadly it's not a Civic, but it's a Honda CRX, and it's got from a, I think a Japanese cartoon franchise called Mechanical Doctor, it literally says that on the back, and uh, it's some sort of modified racing Civic, uh, CRX, but it's well done, I, I rather like it, like most Kyoshos. Alright, we're going to lose the Honda, Hondas now, and uh, just pull out a couple other 
pot hatches or sporty looking hatches. So this first one is by BM Creations. It is a Toyota Starlet. And I just have 1988 written on the bottom of that. I don't know what generation Starlet that is. I have videos on all these other models if you want to look them up. Here's another BM Creations. It's a Suzuki Swift GTI from 1989. The BM Creations are pretty neat because they have steering wheels and also a second wheel set uh, on many of their cars. The trucks don't seem to... Well, they have a lot of different things going on with BM Creations. But these two have steering wheels and second wheel sets. Okay, the last one is going to be a rally car. It's a Mazda 323 GTX from 1991, and it is by CMs. CMs is, a, is an extinct diecast brand, sadly. They did a lot of cool, cool subjects, and even though they're old models, they, I think they still hold up pretty well to today's competition. They're definitely not as polished as a lot of today's competition, like that Inno 64, not even close, but still pretty good all right so let me pause this again and get this thing spinning on its own let's see if the camera will focus on it so I did a search for chrome EG6 and this red chromed one uh, came up I'm pretty sure you couldn't actually chrome a real car and have it street legal because it would just blind everyone driving around the thing but uh, I guess, well, I'm not sure if this red one is just a show car or not. It looks like it's street drivable. But I was thinking maybe there was a show car, you know, for like the SEMA show or a car show circuit. Well, it was all chrome, but I didn't search very long. Anyways, uh, this is one of the most difficult reviews I've ever had to try to take on because this thing is so reflective. If you like shiny things, you really want to get this model. <laughs> it's it is the shiniest model ever I think at least for me definitely for me uh, the overall level of details is okay I think it's you know along the lines of say a hobby Japan or power well hobby Japan's don't have metal tow hooks so that's a differentiator there it does have the little, you know, a little color in the interior. What's missing is that uh, dashboard detail that I'm, I'm was hoping to see. But I do like that the brakes are there. You know, nice different colors for the calipers. Uh, the overall shape of this car, it looks really nice. The panel gaps aren't very wide. I think it's a really clean looking car in real life and then in this street weapons version of it it's a really clean looking model so I'm pretty happy to have it um, I'll have to see what other castings this brand has and maybe I'll pick up some some of those later on uh, a little forewarning uh, my box of 164 scale vehicles is almost empty so there won't be too many vi daily videos coming soon so I'll just just a forewarning Okay, thanks for watching today, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.